everyone doing today? We're going to be continuing on with the herb series. And in this particular video, we're going to be talking about slippery elm. Slippery elm is native to North America, in which you can also find it on uphill lands. It's not commonly found in dry lands. Slippery elm is strongly connected to the planet Saturn. So if you work with divinities or you work with any deities or infernals or spirits that have strong connections to Saturn, this could be a very good offering for you to burn for them. And when I say burn for them, I mean burning it over a charcoal disc because it makes it a lot easier for the smoke to be guided up and for you to have something to burn it on top of, which I like to burn it inside of metal vessels such as brass because it will help to guide that smoke. And it will hold in the heat, preventing fire hazards because that's very important to make sure that you have control over your sources of heat so that you don't put your life at risk or other people. As a strong connection to the element of air. Now, let's talk about the common uses for it and the medicinal uses for it, but I want to give a warning here. I will say that I don't recommend this for everybody unless you've done extensive research on it and you know someone who has real experience with it, okay? Because it can be very dangerous to consume these herbs if you don't really know about them and also if you don't know your own body or your allergies. Slippery elm can be commonly used for treating sore throats if it is steeped within a tea and you extract the oils from it. It can help with heartburn, it can help with stomach ulcers, and I'm saying allegedly because I do not want to be put at fault for anyone trying this. I am not responsible for you or your health, okay? This is not medical advice. This is typically, I mean, this is just strictly for research purposes and entertainment purposes only, all right? Slippery elm can also be used for constipation and help to get your body flowing very well. It can help with your intestines also. Now, the magical uses of slippery elm, they vary from being able to wear the leaf or wear the stem of slippery elm around your neck or wearing it in a vial to become more persuasive, which is the reason why I will say, I love to use slippery elm in court cases because of the fact that it, it's strong, it's strongly connected to Saturn, but it's strongly connected to stopping slander and stopping gossip. Because that's a lot of what goes on in court anyway, especially when there's someone who's being convicted that is completely innocent, okay? You can use this to really spice things up. It works very well in tandem with cedar wood as well. Strongly connected to Lord Belial, okay? It is very commonly used in protection spells, hex breaking, exorcism, and very, very powerful when you use it in wards. So this is one of the ones that I would say is definitely top tier for me. People ask if it's really good for court cases and if it actually does work. And I'll tell you right now, I use this for court case work and it helps very much so. It really will twist the words of someone who is falsely accusing. It will twist the words of someone who is gossiping. It will make them become exposed as a fraud or it will have them exposed as someone who is a habitual liar or just a liar in general. Thank you guys. I really hope that you like these kind of videos. If you guys like this kind of content and you would like more, please feel free to interact in the comment section, like, comment, and subscribe if you feel compelled to please share the video everyone who wants magical service they are officially back my website will be up by the end of today i'm sorry for the delay and not continuously consistently uploading as i would like to but i will be doing my best to continue on with bringing you guys the best content and the original content that you guys loved from the beginning everyone Remain sovereign.